very cool product. It's called Man Soap, and we have the creator of Man Soap. His name is Sean Bosnell, and he joins us right now in daytime. Hello, Sean. Hey, how are you, Dan? You're a good smelling fella. <laughs> I tried it. <laughs> Not that I got real close, but I can tell because, I mean, your product is soap. Thank you. Thank you. I yeah, like we're this. doing. Soap and men's facial care products. Okay, yeah. okay. So how long has Man Soap been around for? Been around for about a year and a half now. About a year and a half. Yeah. So let's go back a year and a half and then some. Why did you decide to create Man Soap? Yeah, so we were trying to uh, fix an issue that we had with our teenage daughters. They both had acne. So we were trying to use those over-the-counter products and we weren't having great success. So did a bunch of research and made our first bar of soap. And yeah. then uh, from there, it kind of spiraled into all the products we have now. So where were you initially making the soap then? In our basement. In your basement? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we sort of uh, progressed from there and now we have a studio over in Elmer. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that's, that's pretty neat though that you were just making soap in your basement. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that being said, I mean, it's called man soap. Yeah. But now you're just talking about your daughters. Yeah. So is this for all genders or, or are you hoping that it just stays... Yeah, no, it's for, it's for all genders. I mean, uh, the thing that makes us man soap is sort of a focus on the beard products. So we've got our beard oil and we've got our aftershave and stuff like that. Uh, but all of our soaps are unisex. And all, uh, the thing that's a little different about us is our scent profiles are a little more neutral. So they're okay. not very flowery, so they are good for everybody. Okay, now is there a reason why it's called man soap or just because, like you said, you just want to gear it towards men? Yeah, well, it's, it's geared towards everybody, but the beard products really sort of brought on that yeah. man side of it. But okay. uh, yeah. Interesting. It, all natural products? as well? All natural, yeah. 100% all natural. We use essential oils, no fragrance oils, anything like that. Okay, so, so how did you know then when you initially started your first batch of soap? How did you know what you were doing? Because I don't think I could just make soap out of the blue. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, like everybody, we used Google. <laughs> we got yeah. all the information <laughs> off Google. <laughs> That's and okay. And then uh, yeah, it kind of went from there. And then, uh, you know, we were making about 100 bars a month at that point wow. for friends and family. And we said, you know, well, obviously other people are enjoying what we're doing. So uh, we kind of expanded upon that and then made different types of soap and mm -hmm. different products to follow along. All right, let's talk about some of the products you yeah. brought with you. So you were mentioning there's beard oils on the end where, you're, where you are? Yeah, so we've got our beard oil product here. So all natural beard oil. We have three different uh, fragrances. We've got uh, mint condition, which is a peppermint, lavender scent. Yeah. We've got true grit, which is our lumberjack scent, so cedarwood. Yeah. And then we've got our six gear, which is uh, pink grapefruit and bergamot. Really, really light scented. What is the benefits to beard oils? So that uh, helps to promote uh, putting oils back into the skin. So as you're growing out a beard like I have, uh, the oils that are naturally in the skin start to diminish as the hair follicle grows. So this helps to put it back in, take away the itch, and okay. help it promote growth. Mm -hmm. so, so then when you're applying the beard oil, you're not necessarily putting it on like the, like, cause your beard's got some length. It's more yeah. around, uh, like you get it into the face. Is that what you're doing? Yeah, so when you're uh, putting it on, you typically put it on after the shower in the morning, mm -hmm. and you only need two or three drops. You need very, very little, and then you put it on your palms and massage it in. Okay. So I actually use my beard balm and the beard balm adds beeswax to that so you oh, get yeah. a bit more hold to it uh, so you're <laughs> yeah. not all over the place and you can comb it down and you get like a beehive going on in there yeah and, yeah know, yeah some new friends <laughs> exactly. okay so what other kind of soaps do you have yeah so I only brought one of our bars of soap today but I've got our Bastille soap this is the one that we started with 70% mm -hmm. olive oil very very neutral it's good for all skin types and uh, we really built it to help us fight an acne issue that our children had and it really did work it did work really well yeah That's so much incredible. that we a lot of other people wanted it so yeah. Uh, okay. so yeah it's interesting when you start using natural products, your body uh, reacts a lot better to it. So, yeah. and people kind of see that right away. Natural's the way to go. It is, yeah. Okay. So that was our first one. Uh, we also have a beer uh, bar. So we're partnered up with Bicycle Craft Brewery, mm -hmm. local brewery, and we use their Velocipede IPA. We boil out all the alcohol in the beer and we use that. And you get a really uh, lathering soap, very moisturizing. You get all the minerals and nutrients from the beer. Really okay, good. so does it smell like beer? No, it smells like the three essential uh, types of oils that we use. Okay. Uh, but so that, that smell diminishes, but you get all the benefits from the beer itself. That's interesting. Yeah. I don't think that's got to be creative. Uh, w w I mean, it, that's got to be uh, unique. And what kind of benefits would uh, be... Um, overall from yeah. it. Yeah, so it's a lot, uh, you get a lot more lather, but you get way more moisturizing. So your skin will be a lot softer from it. Uh, and you get all the minerals and nutrients from the beer. So you get all of the the stuff that's in there and it kind of helps promote good skin. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't think I've ever heard of, heard of beer soap before, <laughs> yeah, so I'm stuck on that. Yeah. Okay, so I know you've got uh, other items, but I yeah. do want to get to s some other stuff here. I mean, sure. what, what does make you uh, different? I mean, obviously the natural uh, element, yeah. uh, but from other soap companies. Yeah, I mean, I, th I think, uh, you know, 
the, the all natural thing for sure is, is a big part of it. I think sort of our focus, you know, we're not trying to uh, do a thousand different products with singular scents. So we have focused around three scent profiles and we're using those across the board. So if you like one of our scents, then you can get that in any of the products that we make. Okay. So we're trying to really get our customers, you know, if they're really into something, then they can get that whole product line. Okay. So how many products do you have in total? We have about 17 right 17. now. Yeah, so wow. in total. Um, and we're, you know, we're kind of gearing down on the amount of products we're making now. Uh, we have a wet shaving soap coming up. That's our latest one that's going to hmm. be coming up. So a lot of people are looking forward to that one. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. interesting. But that's kind of a good problem when you're having to sort of even stop production for certain things. Yeah, yeah. Kind of gear it down <laughs> a little bit. Uh, <laughs> like, that's enough. We were over. We're <laughs> yeah. in demand. Yeah. So you're you're f based out of Elmer. Yeah. Uh, but you sell products across the capital region. Yeah, we do. So uh, we don't have a storefront ourselves. We do e-commerce through Shopify, but uh, we promote mostly through our online or sorry through our retailers here in the Ottawa area. And we're about 20 different places right now. Okay, can so. you give us some of the names? Of some yeah, of the places sure. We're in, uh, so if, you, if you're in the Pean area, we're at Trackworks on Maryville. If you're downtown, we're at Stonewall Wilds. Uh, if you're in uh, Westboro area, we're at Maker House. Uh, if we're That's in the, something. Yeah, we're in the market. You uh, can find us at Not Your Father's Barbershop. So, yeah. <laughs> sure, I like the names of some of these places. Yeah. Okay, so what is the future for Man Soap then? Because you're saying that you're sort of t saying like or it's too much right now, like we're yeah. in demand, which is a beautiful thing, yeah. but, but you must have aspirations for the future as well. Yeah, so um, you know, I, I recently took up going through Mansoap full time. Now we opened up a studio. So our, our uh, idea is to expand upon the number of stockists and retail partners that we have, try to expand it out of Ottawa into Montreal and Toronto and those areas. Uh, and then uh, you know keep doing what we're doing and then trying to meet our customer needs when there's a specific thing mm -hmm. and just make sure that we keep our focus on the all-natural side of it. That's wonderful. What's your favorite scent by the way? Mine is uh, Mint Condition is, uh, is our first one. So the it's Peppermint and Lavender. It's, uh, I really like that one. I yeah. like that. Yeah. I like that. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you very much uh, Sean Bosnell from Mansoap. Mansoap.co yes, is the website. Yeah. .co. Cool. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Coming up, a pediatric sleep consultant joins us next right here on Daytime Ottawa on Rogers TV. <laughs>